This is Bob Trumpy along with Joe Corley, and this is a fight that all full contact karate people have been waiting for. The middleweight champion from right here, a French Canadian fighting in Montreal. That's Kerry Roop, the challenger. His back to us is John Eves Terrio. He is the middleweight champion. He presently has a record of 31 and 3 with 28 knockouts. The world light heavyweight champion is the challenger. His name is Kerry Roop out of Rochester, Michigan. His record, 22 and 7, 12 knockouts. Roop had to lose nine pounds to meet the weight, to uh, fight at the middleweight. They come into the fight. Roop generally fights at about 180. He had to get down under 170. Terrio carries about 160 to 169. Naturally, these are probably two of the best, if not the two best, full contact karate fighters in the world. Kerry Roof has come out here with some real power in this first round. He's he's landed a good solid left dashing left hand on Terrio. The story of this fight is the right hand. Can Kerry Roop stay out of the way of Jean Yves Terrio's right hand? He's the heavier of the two. He's put on some weight since they weighed in, even though he was only two pounds heavier at the weigh-in. There was the Terrio right hand. Roop has got to stay away from Terrio's right hand, and he's got to go in and work powerful kicks to the body and unload his kicks and punches to Terrio's head. A reminder once again, in full contact karate, a championship fight is 12 two-minute rounds. Each fighter must throw at least eight solid kicks per round. They can make up those kicks if they don't get them in one round and then the next, but these two guys are known in this full can contact karate as the best kickers probably to walk in the ring. Both cautious, but nevertheless throwing heavy leather. That's a slip. JT Will, the third man in the ring, will keep close attention to both fighters. Terrio normally starts to pick up his pace at the end of the first round. Kerry Roop is throwing very hard kicks thus far in round number one against Terrio, and he's using the left jab effectively to keep Terrio on the outside. There is no clinching in full contact karate. You got to work your way out of it. No holding. And lots of action. That left jab is what Kerry Roop's going to need to keep using to neutralize the Terrio right hand. Round one coming to a close. Very even. <laughs> Round two of this championship fight. Joe, how'd you score that one? I had that as an oh. even round. Then Kerry Root comes out and blasts with a swing kick off the front leg round kick of Johnny Terrio. Now, one of the things you'll notice, fans, about Johnny Terrio, is he is very, very fundamental. He very seldom has the roundhouse kick straight ahead, boxes, kicks with the roundhouse, and also the straight ahead kick. Doesn't want to lose sight of his opponent. Kerry Roof, thus far, seems unintimidated. Johnny Terrio has a way of intimidating his opponents. Three and a half years since they fought the last time. Hard shot then by Terrio, but Roof still seems to be undaunted. These two gentlemen met back in 1979. The result of that fight, neither was a champion at the time. Terrio broke Roop's jaw. Roop has vowed revenge this evening. It's been that long since they've met. Terrio just stalks. He tries to create openings with the front kick. He tries to see if the left hand is going to come down for the front kick, and then he blasts that right hand in there. Both are very, very skilled boxers. Both have tremendous power in their punches but you can see the weight disparity between the two gentlemen. Roop normally fights light heavyweight, almost nine pounds heavier than Terrio. Redness on both fighters' bodies from the force of the kicks. Terrio thinking about that right hand. Roop lands his own right hand. And it doesn't seem to affect Terrio one bit. And a good left hook to the chin of Roop. Body punch by Terrio. This fight is not going 12 rounds. Round 
round three of this middleweight championship fight. Johnny Terrio, a French Canadian, fighting in Montreal in an ice rink. This is perfect for him. Joe, how'd you score the second round? I had that second second round even as well as the first. I've got him dead even unofficially here at two, at the end of two, the light heavyweight champion of the world dropping down to face Terrio, and he's thus far unintimidated. He took everything that Terrio could hit him with in that second round and came back and blasted Terrio just as hard. This is the first time the two champions in full contact arrived and hit each other in the ring. A roundhouse kick. Terrio came with a spinning back swing kick. I'm sorry, Roop came with a spinning back swing kick followed by a roundhouse kick. Terrio almost ducked into the shin. Both athletes in superb condition are taking an awful lot of punishment here in the third round. Terrio's style with his hands is very reminiscent of Alexis Arguello. Standing up, throwing very quick, straight right hands, but Kerry Roop is not being intimidated by them thus far. Very, very accurate puncher is Johnny Eames Terrio. Once again, coming into this fight, Kerry Roop stated that there was no one else in the world for him to fight. Terrio is the best. He's starting to pick his shots now. Front kick into the body, double punches, combinations to the head. He's beginning to hurt Roop with the combinations. Johnny Terrio normally stays with the straight-in attacks, like you see there, the round kicks, the front kicks. He does not spin with a back fist or a back kick, keeping his eyes always on his opponent. Ooh, a good left by Roop. Nice combination by Roop. Three, three punch combination followed by a roundhouse kick. Neither is going to back off an inch. This is not going to be a 12-round fight. It's scheduled for 12. I don't think it's going to go that far. We're in round three of 12. Each round, two minutes. Back in Montreal with Joe Corley. I'm Bob Trumper, and here's action out of round three, Joe. Johnny Terrio started landing some shots in this round. You see the way he was mixing up the kicks to the body with the double punches to the head. Just when you thought uh, he was dominating the round, Kerry Roop came back and blasted Terrio. Joe, I'm not sure how many people understand how difficult that must be to throw punches on one foot and still have some sting at the end of it. Well, these guys make it look so easy. Round four, Roop in the red slacks. Terrio, the middleweight champion, in the black slacks. Right. Terrio from right here in the Montreal area. Joe Hodge just score round three. I had the third round as a Terrio round. I've got him ahead by one point now. Two punches, a front kick that went into the face of Roop. You see the hand speed of Terrio starting to loosen up now. Kerry Roop has thrown 47 kicks in three rounds. Jean-Yves Terrio has thrown 39 kicks in three rounds. Both fighters way above the required minimum eight. Joe, maybe I'm seeing something, but I noticed that Terrio is looking at the, it appears the, the belly button or maybe the solar plexus. Uh, group. He is not looking at his eyes. Is that usual for full contact karate? That's right. A karate, a karate fighter will look a little lower than the conventional boxer because he's got to see where the kicks are coming from. Here you're seeing the combinations of Johnny Terrio. Out, outside the ring, Terrio appears to be a bookkeeper, a CPA with glasses. Very, very quiet, very unassuming. In the ring, he takes on the appearance of Alexis Arguello, as Joe said earlier, and he is in a heck of a fight. Roop is letting Terrio get closer with that right hand now, and remember, that is what I think is the problem area for Kerry Roop. If he lets Terrio land that solid right, he's in trouble. They fought here three years ago. I believe Roop has hurt Terrio a couple of times in this round with the uppercuts. The other thing I wonder is, if this fight does go 12 rounds, what effect will it have on Terrio carrying the body weight of Roop up against the ropes? Roop seems to be leaning on him a great deal, Joe. Round five of 12, the middleweight championship of the world on the line. It is owned by the man in the black trunks, Johnny Terrio. 
French Canadian, the challenger, the light heavyweight champion of full contact karate, Terry Roop. As you mentioned, Terry Roop's a little heavier after the weigh-in than Terrio. His weight's not going to be much of an advantage, I don't think, because Terrio is leaning down on Roop. Front kick to the face then by Terrio. Good solid left hook by Terrio. And Terrio is closing in Roop in his face in those hand combinations. Now it's reversed. Group yep. has Terrio in the corner. Terrio gets away. Great quickness. Two opponents this year have gone six rounds with Jean-Yves Terrio before he stopped them. He's fought, this is his eighth fight this year. He scored seven knockouts thus far this year. Terry Roop won the World Light Heavyweight title in June in Detroit against Dan Macaruso, now wanting to go for a second world title. If he wins this one, he'd have to give up one title 48 hours later. Of Terrio's 34 fights, he's won 31, 28 by KO. He is a very, very heavy hitter, and he's still giving away at least nine pounds to Kerry Roop. Roop landing hard, combination punches. Jay Will telling them to fight out. Remember, clinching is not legal. The left hand of Roop caught Terrio on the way in then. I've got to tell you, Kerry Roop is following his punches right into the target. And the crowd chanting John Eves. This is a French-Canadian fighter in a French-Canadian city. Kick to the face, then by Terrio, second one in this round. And Roop does not get intimidated by those shots. He just keeps coming back and blasting. We've gone through five rounds of full contact karate. Round six. Terrio in black, Roop in red, and Roop has a cut underneath his right eye, Joe, and it does appear like the lashes or the uh, strings of Terrio's gloves caught him, but how do you have the fight scored so far? I've got Terrio ahead by two points. We're scoring on the 10-point must system, giving the winner of every round 10 points, the loser from five to nine. I don't know if it was the laces. I think one of those front kicks, the two front kicks that Terrio landed in the fifth round may have caused that cut because he landed them solid. The eye is swelling. On the outside of the eye, it's going to cut down his range of vision. And on Kerry Roop, he is presently the light heavyweight champion. Lost weight to come down and fight John Eves Terrio. In Kerry Roop's own words, the only man he felt was on his level to fight. Here's the hand speed of Terrio. You can hear him picking. But Roop comes back with powerful shots. Terrio seems to be gaining confidence at this point. Terrio seems to shoot his shots to the head with his hands and kick exclusively to the body with his feet. That's the Terrio style. Front kicks into the body, roundhouse kicks into the body. Group seems to be withering a little bit. Punches are getting a little wider. Terrio's punches are remaining straight. Neither man about to give up. Both are champions. Good stiff left hand jab by Terrio. And another left-right combination. Roop came back with a wide right, but it was back on the ear of Terrio. Terry Roop cannot absorb those kind of right-hand punches from Johnny Terrio. And Roop now pleading for the out. Action in round six coming to a close. Once again, chanting John Eves, you'll see this flurry by John Eves Terrio, the middleweight champion of the world in full contact karate. A front right foot kick, and then a right hand right behind it. A good flurry of punches, and it's been declared. Terrio the winner. Each corner has stopped the fight. I don't know why, I don't know what the injury was. But Gary Roop is bleeding profusely from the mouth. He 
did receive a cut underneath the eye from either a front kick or from the gloves. Terrio celebrating. He defends his middleweight championship.